Harris in the starting lineup rather than Ron Hopper, who has been a major disappointment. Myers making his full batter by Tree Rollins. Anthony Hardaway for Donald Royal. Yes. Here's Purdue. Four on one for the Bulls. Oh. Pippen from Armstrong and a pushing foul on Turner, who is looking to... Hardaway with a three on one. And Anderson is covered by Purdue. Purdue trying to help out Anderson who waved it off. With two minutes gone by, Pippen looking to post up. Well, Scotty Pippen with his first field goal. And the Magic want to come down, walking violation on Donald Royal. But when Pippen or Kukoc post up, the Magic want to come down right away and be very aggressive defensively as you watch Jeff Turner coming a little bit too late as Scotty was able to weave his way through the scene. Chicago over Orlando. This is the third of five meetings between these two clubs. Kukoc for three. three Tony Kukoc, Tony Kukoc, Kukoc from downtown. Lead 13 to five. Bulls have hit five of seven from the field. Hardaway able to drive the lane for his first field goal. Okay. Now at the guards, Anderson with Turner and Rollins up front. Hardaway for three. Yes. The Bulls now lead by five. Anderson posting up. Anderson. Oh! And block an occasional shot, but just poses no threat inside defensively. Well, Hardaway loved what he saw. He was facing Luke Longley. Flashing into the lane, and no contest here. Just a quick first step. Hardaway with the swooping scoop as he blew by Luke Longley. Now Hardaway. Guarded by Armstrong. Anthony Hardaway with nine points. Coming off a 27 point game the other night against Boston. And the foul is called. Johnny Pippen off the fake, sweeping around Dennis Scott. And the Bulls now lead the team to execute and get a good shot rather than play the percentages. Final seconds of the quarter. Hardaway strip. Hardaway on the recovery. It will count. Penny Hardaway on the follow. So after one, it's the Bulls, 31, and the Magic, 27. Hardaway with the drive, got the step, was stripped of the recovery, was able to knock it down, and just did beat the Horn. A four-point lead for Chicago, one quarter complete. For Pippen, his first personal. Here's Scott for Hardaway for three. Hardaway, as if things aren't working for him on the inside, he can adjust his game, go to the outside and penetrate, and he has really improved his uh, perimeter shot dramatically. But Ebolio just came on, missing on his first shot. Here's Pippen running the floor. Pippen all the way, and drew the foul. As he thinks he can elevate his play even more. Pippen with the steal. Trying to save it, but Hardaway picked it off. Has a two-on-one. Hardaway stopped by Reddington, but over the hit, yes. Count. Well, Scotty Pippen, after an outstanding defensive play, coming up with the steal, falling out of bounds. Normally, the player will try to take the 20-second timeout. Watch it here as he throws it back to the worst guy he could possibly throw it to, the guy that can make something happen at the other end. Anthony Hardaway just goes through two Chicago Bulls with a little scoop. Point threat. Hardaway with 17 of the Magic's 33 points. Jeff Turner. You have to look for matchups or you have to put the ball in the hands of your great player and let him create something. You see Penny Hardaway draw three red shirts, the wide open Jeff Turner in the corner for the easy jumper. In the early moments of the second quarter, Longley lost it. Anderson shovels to Hardaway. By Kukoc checking the shot clock. Hardaway, yes. It has been a spectacular first half for Penny Hardaway. 9 of 12 from the field. 21 points off the steal. Hardaway. The Magic leading 41 35. And they are a fired up ball club. Well, this looked like it was.
was going to be a sprint between Nick Anderson and Steve Kerr as Nick was trying to see where the ball was, but out of the corner of his left eye, he spots Penny Hardaway filling the left lane for the easy dunk. And then this telegraph pass by Ron Harper as Anthony Hardaway had that one picked off very, very easily. And sometimes, Barb, there's a tendency for when key players are out, like O'Neal, like Harris Grant, like Brian Shaw, for one of your better players to try to do too much. Well, he's doing it. Anthony Hardaway is having a monster game. <laughs> Magic outscoring the Bulls, 14-4 in the second quarter. Rollins on the follow. And we get the whistle from behind Chicago. Only one for 10 for the field here in the second quarter. Good double team job by Orlando on Pippen. Nice give and go, and Pippen is able to convert. Nice Johnny feed Newman. on that cut. Staple of the triangle it's offense for Chicago. Miles. Any post feed from the corner, you make that baseline Mark cut, and that's the first look for the center man, and Luke only connected there, but look about goes that included a career-high 33 last week against the Pistons. Steve Kerr with his first field goal. Steve the one-time Orlando Magic. Got the easy little jump hook. Nick Anderson makes the mistake here of leaving his feet. Scotty Pippen saw it coming all the way and finds Steve Kerr for the open deuce. Three and a half remaining in the first half. Longley does have the outside touch. That's his second field goal, and it's the Bulls by one. Hardaway to the crossover, and oh. finds Bowie. <laughs> now Pippen guarding Hardaway on a switch. Hardaway to the outside shot. He has been unconscious. Looking to get other people involved. Here he draws the defense to find Anthony Bowie for a wide open layup. And now he'll just take it against one of the best defenders in the league, Scotty Pippen, as he has Scotty swirling and all turned around as he nails down another jumper. But Welcome back to the Orlando Arena. The Bulls have a 53-50 lead on the Orlando Magic. And uh, Matt, we look back at this first half and it has to go down as one of the spectacular first halves of the season. Anthony Hardaway, the Orlando Magic All-Star, put on a sensational performance. And the Bulls are going to have to come up with some kind of an answer here. He passed the ball, a total of four assists in a first half. He stole the ball. He had two of those in the first half. And he scored the ball, knocking down 25 first half points as he turned Scottie Pippen all around here. Actually, Ron Harper probably did the best job of anybody on him in that first half. The Bulls open up an eight-point lead. Just to follow up on that, the visiting team has the choice of which basket they want in the first half. A lot of it comes down to superstition and how your team is playing during the course of the year. With a bad pass. Two on one. Anderson all the way. It's a four-point Chicago lead. It looked like he drew the foul from Kukoc as well. Kukoc posting up. Yes. 17 points, 11 points here in the early portion of the third. Anderson won't count. Offensive foul. And for the 66 58 advantage. And Hardaway, it counts. And the foul. Well, Kukoc will get an assist for that, despite the fact the ball was actually knocked out of his hands. But Purdue, always lurking around on the weak, a must-win situation for the Knicks if they are going to get. That game will be seen across the country on TNT. That's a jump ball. Well, be very careful. He could be. I think he's watching this game. He hangs on your every word. I, I, I understand that. Yes. Got to stay away from on a terrific job. Seven rebounds. Stop for three. Oh, Purdue going off the stair. Here's Bowie challenging Myers, and an offensive foul is called. It was on fire. Anderson chases it down. He has Hardaway. Third steal of the ball game knocks this loose and bangs into B.J. Armstrong to send out Nick Anderson and Nick. Turning the wrong way, but still hearing the footstep of Anthony Hardaway filling the lane and delivers the ball beautifully. Quarter. Pippen backing Bowie. And draws the foul. Charlotte at Miami. They won in Atlanta. Here's Kerr for three. Yes. Well, there is Steve Kerr. Boston on Friday, and he has surpassed that this afternoon. Here he is, Pippen. 
Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen has 15. Scotty Pippen. Yes. Scottie 17 Pippen. for Pippen. Ottaway was down low. Now he's come to the perimeter. As for Rollins, broken up. Rollins thought he was foul. Here's Kerr for three. Yes. Steve Kerr. Ottaway pushed off the blocks. By Meyer. Goes right back at him. And hits. The Bulls 95 and the Magic 91. 615 left in the fourth. Pippen knocking it down. He has 19 points. He is 0 for 5 from three-point land. Kerr with room again. Steve Kerr. Kerr on the bench going with a more defensive-oriented unit. Hardaway is fouled. Who wants the goaltend call? But he will not get it. 37 for Hardaway. Pippen isolated against Bulls. Two minutes, hit. Two minutes, 21 two minutes, for Scotty Pippen on the ball. Hardaway for three. And rebounded by Pippen. Try to keep it away from Anderson. Recovered by Turner. Here's Turner called for the call. Offensive foul. What a sequence of, of events there. Play a game is taken. Play a game warning Orlando. Orlando wanting to check out the Bulls alignment. Coco. Out of two. He lost it. Here's Hardaway. Racing the clock. And he has. Magic leading by two with seven tenths of a second remaining. And that is a career. The clear path for Hardaway to go in all alone. All right, Kukoc looking to inbound, receiving the room. Here's Pippen coming. He thought he'd be found out by his. Oh, 